Hello everyone, it's a new series. It's Ben the Human here with The Wandering Village. I've been trying, well, I've been wanting to record or stream this game for a long time, and I've been playing a bit of it on my own time, to be honest, but I thought this game would be right up my alley as far as stuff that would do well on my channel and, and stuff that I enjoy, and sure enough, uh, well, I guess the first part is remains to be seen, but I do enjoy the game a lot. Um, I've played through the full tutorial. I think we'll start... This was fine. But I think I want to start on... Yeah, I want to... I didn't finish the whole thing, but I will, we'll start on Novice, because I'm still kind of getting the hang of the game. And, you know, comments and tips are appreciated, uh, as always. Feedback is great. But we're going to play with the Onbu. We have the Indigon as well, which, as far as I can tell, yeah, only affects visual appearance. So we'll just start with the Onbu, the, the traditional Onbu. And what will we name it? Dave! Dave the Onbu? Wahahaha? <laughs> Panra? I mean, it's got to be Dave. That's hilarious. I don't know. It could just have a... A normal white guy name. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores. Listen to the lore, everybody. Looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. That would scare the crap out of me. Just walking along and all of a sudden the land comes to life you're like is this thing a vegetarian i hope so but we certainly climbed on top of him all right let's pause real quick all right so first thing we want to do i'm a i'm a stickler for dirt roads anybody who's ever seen me play play um against the storm I love roads. I'm building roads all over the place. We're going to build a road straight across the Onbu here. And we're going to start with... How many people we got? 16? And the tents can hold two. And the way I like to set up your, your village living area... And you can hold shift to, to multi-paint. Um, I like to set it up in four by two sections later you get a hut that is a two by two and that that fits right on top of the the two tents you you uh we just put down this will hold 16 people here and then we can easily expand it outward the re the reason i do it this way is because later you can get decorations and decorations give boosts to um like people's happiness and and whatnot so for now, we're going to set it up where we could put decorations here, here, and then repeat the pattern. And having one decoration on either side like this um, sets it up. Oh, actually, I kind of screwed this up. We want it like this because you can, you can put tents back to back. And then if you have a single row of decorations, decorations on either side of it, it's, uh, it's pretty good from a, a happiness standpoint. So, eventually we'll put four more tents here as we expand out. But right now, that's good. Let's get people started. We'll also want to do some worker posts. And we'll want to get food sorted as well. Looks like we have berries growing up here. We've got a few berries down here, but they're a little more dispersed down here. If you can find a group of berries that is, like, close together but has a decent gap in between the if you want to you want to be able to build your berry gatherer without destroying as many berries as possible while also activating a bunch of berries so if we put it here we'd have 58 percent efficiency at best we could go up here at best we get 31 now here is very interesting 54 54 i don't know if that we're going to get much better than that 40? One time I was playing this and I got like 108% efficiency 
with the amount of berries that I, I could uh, harvest from, and I was astounded. <laughs> and I've never seen a, a seed that, that positive since. Looks like this might be our best place to put our berry gatherer then. Yeah, I think we'll go... We'll go like here. We'll go set up the road. So that goes around the horn. You don't want to harvest the horn if you can help it. It makes your own boo sad. So we don't want to do that. What else we got going on here? Pantry is good. For food. Storage stuff. Farm is useful as well. And actually, we have like a really nice plot that we could just plop a farm down here, like right in the middle of. Make pretty good use of this space down here. I think I'll go ahead and do that just to get everything kick-started we're gonna we're gonna want to start with a, a worker post I'm just trying to remember like here and we can set one up right across from it we'll we'll queue up to to harvest these trees here they're gonna be in the way anyway so we might as well just harvest them rocks are important as well And the nice thing is we got a lot of resources like really close by so we can get all this stuff built all the all the tents are built that's good everybody has a house to live in now nobody is homeless everybody is unemployed that will change as soon as we get this worker post sorted plus the berries plus the farms i actually think i should put the worker posts on high priority so you can set your priority work to highest medium and low but then if you don't prioritize anything that is technically the lowest of the low you could also disable if you want to like plan something out but not allow people to work on it or if it's already been built to keep people from working in that one that's a good thing to use for stuff like medicine if we look here we have like well not the herbalist necessarily but there's a doctor i think it's just a like a doctor is what it's called um, that you can unlock later and if your villagers get poisoned uh, they heal the villagers with herbs but if you don't have any poisoned people there's not really any point in having a doctor um, employed so you, you can get the doctor building built in the case of poisoning um, but people don't need to be set as a doctor until you actually need it so the berry is going to be probably our next highest priority after after these worker stations are built. The nice thing about the worker stations is you can kind of designate people for certain jobs. So we could designate people to be builders, so then they would focus on getting these these roads built, or they'd build these these buildings that have all the resources stacked stacked in them. Excuse me. <laughs> and or we could set people to be harvesters, so they'd go out and they'd harvest all these trees and these these rocks um you can set people to be general workers which they'll just do anything um i think general workers is the most useful overall but it's definitely good to be able to have uh certain people assigned to certain tasks we'll also want to get this air well up and running that's how you get water as long as you're in a in a normal environment the own boost is still asleep right now but we're right in we're in the mountain region right now and we'll go a, continue along this road shortly but you can enter a swamp which is very humid you can enter a desert which has no humidity at all and then you have to get water from other places so water is important but generally with the air well you can just get water out of the air but it is something to pay attention to all right we've got some workers assigned here let's go ahead and add workers while we're just sitting around i'm gonna add some people to builders and then i'm going to add some people to harvesters here and then once the roads are all built i'll probably switch the builders to general workers because right now um we still have a bunch of unemployed people but that they'll get pulled into the farm they'll get pulled into the berry gatherer they'll get pulled into this air well so berry gatherer is going to be our highest priority farm is going to be our second highest and then the air well will just we'll let that finish when it finishes you guys are carrying berries to the pantry that makes sense that's where they belong got some water just sitting on the ground 
I suppose that means they brought the water with them, huh? Oh, I usually play this game on at least 2x mode. Sometimes I speed it up to 4 if there's just like... I got a lot of stuff planned and I'm just waiting on stuff. One of the uh, early things that you want to get started on as well is the research building, which is here. That's also a very useful building. That all of your technology is locked behind the research building. And... We don't quite have enough people to make two of them work at a time, but I eventually I like to have two research buildings going at once. I think it's worthwhile uh, of an investment to to have that many research buildings going. So we'll put one right here, and you're gonna I'm gonna disable you until we get some of this other stuff off the ground. But it is gonna be a high priority eventually. A uh, water tank is useful as well. I usually like to stack my foods. Food buildings and, and water buildings kind of close to each other. So that'll be a lower priority as well. We're going to put that on e equivalent to the air well. Because we do have some water for now. And really we will, we'll only need water once the farm is up and running. Although actually now that I think about it. We should not have put these two over here. That was my bad. I was just kind of like on autopilot here but you really want to have your water building your water generation next to where it's going to be used so like berries are all the way over here just because kind of of necessity but you want your water generation to be next to the farm because water generation or water is utilized by the farm or at least close-ish to the farm we don't necessarily want to cover up these plots because that's where the farm can work but I think we can put it here and still be okay. We're covering up a little bit of the farm, but not too much of it. And then we'll also want to get the, the air well going over here. I think we'll want to do it maybe like here, and then we can put a second one there when we need it. Alright, they're building the farm. Good. Berry of harvester is up and running. That's great. We'll actually start getting food now. And then I'll throw down a second pantry next to the water tank. So water tank, you're going to be a higher priority than the... The air well and the water tank are going to be the same priority. Pantry is going to be the lowest of the priorities. Our own Boo has woken up. Off he goes. Now if we look, you see he's starting to move along the, the road here. The rain is actually going to catch up to us, and sure enough it has. That's not a bad thing. Um... More humidity is... Humidity affects your plants. Oh, hey, farm is up and running. We have two farmers that are like, what do we do? I, I don't have any work. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I think I want to plot it out... Like, here for now. And how many people do we have? We, have st we still have two unemployed. So we have two at the berries. We'll have one at the air well when that's con constructed. We could probably pull back from the workers a little bit. Like, we probably don't need five harvesters, and we definitely don't need five builders. But once they finish the road... I don't quite understand the logic behind how they, they prioritize what they're doing. Because, like, you'd think they'd build the road from one end to the other, but they kind of they kind of build the road random. <laughs> Hodgepodge a little bit. Well, that's fine. We're going to build a couple material storages here as well. They store 30, 30 material each. And I've found that, like, two is generally more than enough for all the resources that you need on hand to build things and whatnot. I think we'll go ahead and add one more farmer to the beet farm here. And then, what else do we got going on here? Stonecutter and Carpenter is needed for higher... Uh, level materials really uh, you take stone or wood and you turn it into stone slabs and wood slabs which are needed for more advanced buildings but I don't think we have access to any of those buildings right now we'd have to get our research off the ground first so we don't really need to do those buildings yet until and honestly we really don't have the people necessary to be wasting or not necessarily wasting but spending time on uh, on, on higher tier materials, really. We will catch up to these nomads down here, and then we have an opportunity to recruit some people. Usually it's like two to four people. 
Um, usually they're hungry, but overall we should have plenty of food production here. Because we have, you know, a full beet farm going down here. We have a full 58% a efficient berry farm. We should be doing pretty okay. One thing that's kind of interesting, I guess we can build our mushroom farm here. Mushrooms have to be on this dark, dark soil instead of the green soil. Mushrooms are, are for feeding your own boo later in the game. Um, but right now the own boo will find its own food generally and uh, it'll be fine. But for now, we'll focus on getting our village off the ground here. So we have, I think we need to shift you guys to be general workers now. So the road is done. And now they're all just kind of sitting around waiting for materials to be delivered. And unless you switch people to be carriers or general workers, nobody's really going to deliver stuff. So harvesters, have you done all the harvesting? It looks like you have. I'm kind of impressed. But we could do a little more harvesting. We're, we're out of wood, really. So we should go ahead and harvest all these. These are just going to be in the way eventually, so we might as well get them out of the way now and then utilize the materials. Could probably grab these as well. And then these just because they're near the road. And then if we need more, we could always expand out that way. But for now, I think those are enough to get, get us started as far as the, the normal buildings. And then we'll go ahead and un, unblock the research building. Because as we start to once we pick those people up for sure, and then as we start to finish off all of these these basic buildings, we can start to pivot some of these these normal workers, like the harvesters especially, and then even some of the general workers into like the research building, for example, or, or the kitchen as, as soon as we learn that. The kitchen is a really useful building because you can set it to process your, your raw beets or your raw berries into just better food, which uh, makes your people happier. Right now we're at 100% productivity. As your village grows, the productivity will start to decrease based on certain factors and having like a diverse a diverse um, diet helps. Having decorations around their house helps. We'll we'll see that all as that as that comes. First material storage is done. That's good. Getting some wood delivered to the research building. We should have plenty more coming. They're starting to hack down all these trees down here. We'll have plenty of water shortly. Honestly, we could probably draw back. We are growing our food though, so we don't really need to, to add people to the add people to the farm. As long as our daily production is exceeding our our daily requirements, we'll be more than fine. And we can add two people here if we so choose. We're gonna reduce one from each of these. And we're going to go ahead and research the, the kitchen. So the village doctor was the one I was talking about, where it's like, you could build that and then let people, like, keep it off generally and then activate it only if people are sick. But for now, um, we'll just pull people from the general workforce. We don't really need that many people right now, uh, especially since most of our, our buildings are all done. And in fact, all the buildings are all done. So I think we'll actually go ahead... We got worker. We'll go ahead and build another research building here. Just build the road out a little bit as well. Because I like having four researchers. I think it helps research move along a little at a little better pace. And then and then we'll start to consider these two. The mycologist is like it's useful, but right now until we can get some Onbu Onbu interaction items like the feeding trebuchet and the tower to, to send, to, I guess the mostly the feeding trebuchet for the mushrooms there's not really a point to growing mushrooms yet it's just kind of, you just have a guy sitting out there growing mushrooms for no reason and then have, it, have nothing to do with the mushrooms. He's just like, why did I grow all these mushrooms? Nobody's eating them. Um, for now though, we could go ahead and put the the herbalist down here as well trying to think of what the best place for this would be because like, I'd like it to be by the water generation anyway I'm kind of leaning towards like put it here 
and then just kind of build the road around a little bit and that takes away some spot for for fields but really that should be fine all right we have a small group of nomads we will pick them up because we need more people we've gained three people that is great and we will add their uh capacity to the to the tent oh and we got more research great so we'll have four researchers going here once these two are active and then i think we have one unemployed person so let's go ahead well we'll put it once this herbalist is built we'll employ them at the herbalist so i think that's a good place for them to be and then eventually once this kitchen is researched we'll want to pivot some people off of the uh worker posts to become kitcheners <laughs> or cooks i guess is probably what they're called they're not kitcheners is that not the official term how are we doing on water we're at 46 23 what's our general water production look like is there a, t a thing that shows you i'm not sure if there is that shows you like general output There are some upgrades we can do, like we can automate you can we can automate the the water collector, or we can make an advanced funnel to get more water uh, and hold more water. Right now, it just takes one person to work. Excuse me. I think the advanced funnel, unless you're really hurting for people, which I don't think we will be at least on the novice level. Um, I think the advanced funnel is the way to go to get more water. At, or like water faster and hold more water just seems more useful shrines are very good because you unlock research points which which unlocks higher tier buildings in the research tree uh but we haven't unlocked the ability to go on away missions yet <laughs> i call them away missions because it's jump light odyssey um but that's what they are essentially you build an expedition building and each of these things like the forest these ruined settlements quarry um and, and the shrine out here uh, there'll be like populated settlements out there. You can send people out to them and they'll gather resources and, and people and they'll bring them back to the Onbu. Honestly, it's a really useful building and I think it might be the next one we prioritize after finishing the kitchen here. The Onbu seems unsure about which path to take. You guys have something to say? You're all like, you got, all got speech bubbles. So we got yes the scavenger hunt hut hunt hut is the way to go i think village doctor is useful but we really shouldn't be running into anything that's poisoning people at this time so let's go ahead and set up our kitchen i think we'll set it up right next to we'll set it up right next to the what's that thing called pantry i was i kept trying to call it a granary oh shoot well sure enough so this is gonna be on hold for now and uh like i said you need advanced materials and so it's very useful uh nigh important or or like honestly like downright necessary <laughs> to have a carpenter and a uh a stone cutter because they will process stone and wood into these advanced materials, wood, plank, and stone slab. But we also do need more raw materials. It does take quite a lot of wood and stone to make stone slabs uh, and, and wood, wood planks. So we're gonna need even more raw materials here. We got 30 stone, which is great, but we're, we're already running out of wood as it is. So we're gonna need need more of that. Looks like the carpenter is under construction. That is good. And then this will be great because we'll be able to bring more people back to the village. Right now, I think I'll pull some of these general workers off of the worker post. Because we shouldn't really need them to construct anything. Honestly, we, we'll just really need them to focus on making more um, stuff. 
uh, more of these advanced materials. So you need to take three stone, turn it into stone slabs. It's not so much about the raw materials, like the raw materials are necessary, but a lot of it is just the labor it takes to make the slabs and the, and the, uh, and the planks here. So you want to get that going. Uh, we don't, <laughs> whoops. How long have you been standing there, sir? Uh, we don't have any herbal production yet, but we do have a guy ready to go, and that should be remedied shortly. I think I'll go ahead and build the road around here this way. I know it's a little weird, but I think that's fine. Got stuff all queued up. No horn blower built, so we can't tell our own boo what to do yet, just yet. Still researching here. Storage is full, so that does happen, especially because our our production of food and whatnot is is kind of through the roof right now. Although it did say that we're at thirty six thirty eight. Are you guys only eating the radishes? You're you're not eating the berries. Is that what's going on here? Once this kitchen is done, we'll we'll pivot it to make uh, this berry muesli or uh, yeah, right here increases food quality and, and kind of chews through the berry backlog. <laughs> but it'll allow us to continue to make berry production while having other food available. Because they can still eat raw berries, but they can also eat better, like, berry porridge. Let's see. I'm just trying to think of how this would look. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, we can put another road right here, and that'll work kind of with our, our plotted out village plan. Or maybe it won't. Hold on. Because if we build tents, one, two, decorations, one, two, one, two. Okay, it's not quite what I thought it was. It'll be slightly off kilter. <laughs> That's okay though. The roads don't have to be perfect. We're just keeping them employed anyway. They're like they'd be bored if they weren't will building this road. Um, do we want the horn blower? Because it can issue commands. I think we'll go for horn blower as well. Like village doctor is useful, but honestly, like I said, we're not going to be running into poison anytime soon. Man, I'd really like to be able to get the. Oh. Can we build the research outpost? I don't think so. Yeah, it's definitely wood planks. It's a little unfortunate, the positioning here of the the own boost spikes because they're kind of blocking where I normally build these things. <laughs> I like to have two, two um, exploration outposts. I think two is a good amount to have. But yeah, the spikes are like in a really unfortunate position right now. But, I think if we do... We'll probably put the the horn here. Because it doesn't really need to be by anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and put one of you here. And then I'll put another one right below it. And here. And then eventually this rock will be able to quarry it out. And that'll clear the way to, to be able to build other stuff there. But for now, let's go ahead and disable you. And then I think I'm going to disable you. I'm not sure. No, I'm going to I'm going to prioritize you over the kitchen. We have entered the jungle. As you can see, we've gone from pink to green. And I believe the humidity should go up in the jungle as well. Really the only place to see that is by looking at the uh, I guess this is temperature. Ah, here we go. The temp, yeah. So the humidity went from yellow, which is just like average, to light blue, which is humid. And then I don't know if I don't know if blue is only ocean, or if it'll uh, if like if it's a heavy rainstorm. <laughs> Maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we're at six slabs, six planks. That's good, but we still need more. But we do have plenty of the basic resources, so that's good. We can go ahead and um, task these as well. We're at eight slabs now. I think somebody... Ah, yes, they have started bringing materials over here, which is good. 
The good thing about this guy, and the reason I'm prioritizing the scavenger hut over the kitchen, is that this is really the main way you get to add more people to the village. The Onbu is tired. Um, there aren't any settlements that are not ruined right now, but eventually we'll come across settlements that are still intact, and you can send your, your parties to there uh, and try to recover more people. So let's see here. Still waiting on stone slab. Oh, why did I put you on... Did I do that on purpose? Oops. How long has it been that way? <laughs> um, Can't have been that way for that long because there are stone slabs that have been made. You guys are busy, so I might as well steal a dude from you. And how are we doing on food? Herbs are doing fine with just one guy. I think we'll steal another harvester, because we do have plenty of the the raw resources here. And then we'll we'll get the stone cutter up and running again. That that's my bad. I don't know when I did that. Oops. <laughs> anyway, um that's a good place to stop the first episode. If you did uh enjoy the first episode, if you like the series, click the like button and it helps me out a lot. If you want to see more of the wandering village or my other series I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. Leave comments, uh likes, everything, tips, tricks, criticism whatever i'm i'm looking for for your your best advice for this game as we're just starting out here um it helps me out a lot when i'm first starting a series so uh, i look forward to seeing seeing everybody's comments and reactions to the video and i hope to see you in the next one all right see you guys later bye bye everybody